Hello and welcome to Truth vs. Hype. The crisis in Kingfisher has been a bewildering story to report. On one hand, cancelled flights, crores of rupees in debt, planes that are being repossessed, and on the other, Vijay Malia and the Kingfisher management that have been striking a relentlessly optimistic note. This week, as the government finally prepares to take action, we investigate the real reasons behind the decline and fall of what was once India's biggest and best private airline. Take a Kingfisher flight and get a first-hand look at how the crisis has changed Kingfisher. On our way in, the counters are empty. The flight to Bombay is full because two previous flights were cancelled and because Kingfisher offers one of the lowest fares today. The tickets were cheap, so I just thought I'll Tickets just are cheap? Yeah, it was 6,000 for one trip. Cheaper than other airlines right now? Yeah. <laughs> it was the cheapest. When we saw the net, it was the cheapest rate. Uh, so I went from to Delhi. I Delhi to connecting to the flight. But after all, I was looking for a long time. The flight was scheduled for 610 and it was just delayed for 650 and 7.15. I was just waiting on the air. So it was very, like, very hectic and all. On board, there's a general sense of decline, from monitors that don't work to austere meals in business class. What do we have? Uh, we just have an option of Pavaji. <laughs> just Pavaji. <laughs> There's no uh, non-veg or anything. No choices. The famous in-flight message is now missing. Welcome aboard Kingfisher Airlines. From the day we've started flying, I've tried to create the finest experience for you and bring back the element of style in travel. But the airline's owners make an appearance in the in-flight magazine a forlorn throwback to a glamorous past. It's almost hard now to recall that launch seven years ago of an airline that changed the way Indians had flown. Thank you for flying with us today. What went wrong? The first most commonly made criticism is that Vijay Malia changed Kingfisher from a single-class airline to a full-service model with an ultra-luxurious business class. In a statement, Kingfisher said, hindsight is always better. Kingfisher never intended to be a no-frills, single-class carrier. Relax and enjoy the five-star Kingfisher experience. But was the extravagance of that change justified? Like getting his newly delivered fleet sent to Zurich for an ultra-luxurious retrofitting to business class? or sending the planes to Abu Dhabi to install the technology so that passengers could see the World That's Cup cricket live. Or making this splash at Farnborough Air Show just a year after his launch, where we filmed him ordering five top-of-the-range A340 500s so that Kingfisher could fly from Bangalore to San Francisco. Yeah, make it really something that's wow. <laughs> All five were never delivered and was sold to a little-known Nigerian airline. Five months after the launch, Alex Wilcox, the CEO brought in from the world's best-known low-cost carrier, JetBlue, resigned. Nigel Howard, who heads Airbus in India, came in his place and quit exactly a year later. Both declined to comment for this program. The other commonly cited criticism is the purchase of Air Deccan, India's first low-cost carrier. People told me he was having sleepless nights because he thought if Reliance comes in, uh, it's going to be a very big competitor for him. So he gave a, you know, a fantastic offer on the purchase price. And I said, I want money up front. And then I also put a condition that uh, these airlines must be separate. Uh, brands must be separate. Airline, airline must be separate. So he agreed to all those conditions. Again, a dramatic move that brought with it immediate benefits to Kingfisher, but was subsequently seen as a folly. Somewhere, uh, you know, about six months after, uh, uh, I think it was, a, it was a well thought out plan by him. Uh, and maybe I was a little naive, maybe I, I took him at his word. Uh, uh, a lot of people told me who were close to him that, uh, look, he's, he's, he's already made up his mind to change the airline's name. You know, he wants to change the brand, he wants to change the model, he wants to make it to one airline. So I was shocked. You have a Kingfisher airline, which is full service, 
then you have a kingfisher red. So the, the blood is blurred. So people who are sitting in the economy of kingfisher, uh, they're not stupid. You know, they will say, why am I paying more? Because the kingfisher red looks alike, seems alike. Um, everything is same. So the people from kingfisher first class move to kingfisher red. Do you have the IndyTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndyTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.